my name is Kira. I'm a host at the Ontario Science Centre. We are in the Human Body Hall on the fifth level and we're talking about hidden gems. Really neat exhibits that visitors have to check out for themselves. So we're standing here at one of the exhibits in the Human Body Hall which is about digestion and over here we have uh, a really neat plastinated digestive system. So this is a real digestive system that has been held in shape with plastic. I think this is really fantastic. But one of the other things we need to talk about when we talk about digestion, of course, is the products of digestion. And over here, we have a great model of two types of poo. We have a model of poo that is the product of a diet that's very high in processed foods, contrasted with a model of poo from a diet very low in processed foods. And this is a really great jumping off point for all kinds of conversations. I've had groups of elementary school students here and I asked them, what is fiber? What do they think it is? Why is it important? What do they have for breakfast today? And do they think they had any fiber with that? What are their favorite fruits and vegetables? Do they drink water instead of pop? So we talk about the basics of nutrition and healthy living. I've also hosted many, many groups of giggling preteens and teens about poo and the ooh factor and why do we have the relationship with poo that we have, which is kind of arm's length in this country, but in a lot of other cultures. They're a bit more earthy, a little more relaxed talking about poo. I've had some very funny anecdotes from parents who have discovered things in their children's poo which up till that point they had not realized were missing. But some of the most remarkable conversations I've had have been with people who have personally experienced some kind of digestive ailment. And sometimes just looking at this exhibit reminds somebody of the time they had worms as a kid, or maybe something about a gallbladder or gallstones operation. From A to Z, really remarkable conversations. And I suspect that most people who come to the Science Center are not expecting to have that kind of discussion. They're expecting to leave here more knowledgeable than when they came because we're going to just stuff their heads with knowledge. But really, they have a chance to educate other people about something they know really well. Uh, so I'd like to thank our visitors for teaching us what they know.